Jay. Good hey, Teacher Marius. How's it going? Good. What are you doing? Oh, this. I'm just working on a variation of the particle model for uh, fluid reaction solid systems over here. I'm trying to make myself a little shorter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, as you see. What? Why don't you say so? Do you want to use this? Uh, uh, no, I, I, I think I will stick to the si the scientific method over here. To you sure? Whoa! Whoa! I don't know. I, I feel bigger. You're huge. I feel. Wait. Oh. Oh. I, I think I reversed the reaction. Oh no. I think it just shrunk our jackets. I feel kind of uncomfortable I, right now. <laughs> oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad on you. Thank you. How's it fit? No. I can't touch my shoulders. A few moments later. Oh. Good thing we had extra coats. Agreed. Yep. Woo. What's that? What's that? It's arrived. It arrived? It's here. It's here. It's here. What's here? Huh. What do you mean what's here? Open it up. What's here? What is it? It's the one and only. It's here. It is here. It's here. It's arrived. Oh, I can't wait to see this. We get our hands oh. on the New World English first edition DIY bouncy ball kit. That's amazing. It's amazing, and it's here. Well, we gotta open that up. Yeah, what's inside? Of course, we got some polyvinyl alcohol solutions, some silicone dioxide, and uh, glycerol with a, with a bit of carmine in that in that as well. So, I mean. Colored powder. Whoa. Yes. Okay. But this is science class, you know. We'll, we'll go by the name. Hold on. What does this say? Warning. Warning. This kit contains chemicals that may be harmful if misused. It says here that adult supervision is required. So call mom and dad, kids. Bring them in and show them how to make it. Or do it with them. That's a great idea. Open it up. Let's crack it open. DIY bouncy balls and momentum. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It comes with a workbook. Workbook. And instructions. Instructions. What else is in there? Well, of course, as previously mentioned, the, uh, so the color powder is all in here. Look at all the colors that you can oh, wow. choose from. Oh, we got pink. Ooh, pink. Orange. Orange. Got some green. Look at these. Oh, some cool molds. I want to make one. I want to make one too. Let's make one. Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball. Bounce in the hall. Bounce off the wall. It bounces up. Hey guys, it's Teacher Jake, and we're here to talk about the science 
of bouncy balls. When you take a look at a bouncy ball, you can see that they're quite hard, but not too hard where it won't move at all. If you take your fingers and squish it, it will move a little bit, right? This is what happens when it hits the floor. You see, when you drop the bouncy ball, you give it downward momentum, energy in the form of motion. Gravity will pull it too and make it go faster and faster until boom, it hits the floor. The direction of the energy will change. When it hits the floor, the shape of the ball will change too. All this energy needs to go somewhere, right? It's going down, 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 stop. Hits the floor, the ball will squish a little bit, right? The shape changes, just like a spring. Boing, right? So when it squishes down, it will go back to its original shape. When it pops back up, boom, it will push off the floor and the direction will be upwards. It's simple. Now, a lot of you have asked me, Teacher Jake, why is it that when I drop a ball from a height, it can never bounce back to the same height that I dropped it? And let's get right to that. So why does that happen, Teacher Jake, you might be saying? Well, let me tell you, it's all about the energy that we put into the ball. When we drop the ball, energy in the form of motion is increasing because gravity will pull it faster and faster. When the ball hits the floor and the direction of the energy changes, we are losing some energy because some of that energy will come out as a product of heat. And maybe there will be some airflow resistance. Maybe there will be some spin and friction on the ball. We can lose some energy in all these different kinds of ways, right? So when it comes down, we lose some of this downward energy in the form of heat. And when it comes back up, it won't be able to bounce as high anymore because it's lost that energy. That's why. Now, take the bouncy ball that you made and find another ball with a little more mass, a little heavier. Take the small ball and put it on top of the big ball and drop them at the same time. Let's see what happens. When you take your bouncy ball that you made and put it on the big ball and drop them at the same time, the big ball will hit the ground first. When the big ball hits the ground first, the direction will change on the big ball first, right? So all that downward energy that we're given from the big ball and the small ball's mass will be going upwards into the small ball. That's why the big ball really won't bounce that much, but the small ball will go flying. He Grit is passion and perseverance. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you want to see more great videos like that, go to the New World English YouTube channel. There are some great things that you can see. Art videos, baking videos, yoga, story videos, and tons of songs. And did you know that we have science on Quizlet now as well? If you want to see how we do some of our experiments, go on to Quizlet and check it out. Who's that? Hi, it's Jack. Oh, Teacher Marius, hey. How's it going? Oh, what? Oh. Teacher Marius. <laughs> so, uh, I have my solution. Oh, right. Are you ready for this? I worked all night on this. Okay, so how much do we need? You need only one drop. One drop? Any more would be catastrophic. Oh, it's okay. I can do one drop. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
Teacher Marius, I said one drop! <laughs> oh, no, I said one drop! Go to the new world, English YouTube channel! Check out the other videos, go now, it's great! <laughs> oh, oh my, jeez! <laughs>